NASA's Starliner Incident, a deeper look at the revealed issues. Newly released NASA documents surrounding the 2024 Boeing, Starliner Incident paint a more comprehensive picture of the technical challenges, highlighting critical flaws in the spacecraft's design and testing process. The revelations go beyond initial reports, suggesting systemic issues that could have far-reaching implications for future space missions. The documents reveal that problems with the Starliner's propulsion system, specifically helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, weren't isolated incidents but rather stemmed from deeper design flaws that weren't adequately addressed during testing phases. These issues discovered early on were apparently not fully rectified before the crewed mission, jeopardizing the safety of the astronauts. This raises significant questions about the efficacy of the testing protocols and the overall design robustness of the Starliner. The extensive time spent in finding solutions suggests that early warning signs were not given the necessary attention or corrective action. The revelation also underscores the critical need for rigorous safety assessments, especially considering the significant risk involved in human spaceflight. The Starliner's prolonged malfunctions, leading to the extended stay of astronauts on the ISS, highlight the inherent dangers of inadequate safety mechanisms in space missions. Moreover, the reliance on SpaceX for the emergency rescue mission exposes vulnerabilities in the existing infrastructure, demonstrating the urgent need for enhanced redundancy and contingency planning. The incident also highlights the significant financial and reputational ramifications for Boeing. The protracted issues and significant cost overruns associated with the Starliner program raise concerns about the long-term viability and public trust in Boeing's aerospace projects. The substantial investment by NASA, along with the cost of the emergency rescue mission, underscored the severe financial implications for both agencies. Furthermore, the incident compels a broader reflection on the current standards and practices in spaceflight. It urges the need for a more comprehensive and rigorous approach to the design, testing, and validation of spacecraft systems. The lessons learned from this incident are crucial for shaping the future of human spaceflight, prioritizing safety, and ensuring the well-being of astronauts in high-risk, extended missions. Ultimately, the meticulous scrutiny of the Starliner incident will serve as a critical learning opportunity for all involved parties, potentially revolutionizing safety protocols and accelerating advancements in space exploration technology. The dream and harsh reality of being an astronaut. Everyone has dreamed of becoming an astronaut, to wear a space suit, float in zero gravity, and explore the vast universe. But behind that beautiful dream lies a harsh reality. In space, even the smallest mistake can put someone in life-threatening danger. Losing control of the spacecraft, drifting helplessly in the cold void, and facing unpredictable dangers. This was the exact scenario that NASA astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore experienced during the ill-fated Starliner mission to the International Space Station, ISS, in the summer of 2024. Yet, after all the risks and extreme pressure, the compensation they received for each day spent in space is surprising. Just $5 a day. The fateful Starliner flight. Astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore became stranded on the International Space Station, ISS, in June 2024, after the Starliner spacecraft encountered technical issues that prevented their return. What was supposed to be an eight-day mission turned into an unexpected ordeal. The flight was initially intended as a final test before Boeing could begin regular crew rotations for NASA's commercial crew program. However, as the Starliner approached the ISS, critical issues arose with its navigation and flight control systems. Five out of the 28 reaction control system RCS thrusters failed, which are essential for small orbital adjustments. This left the spacecraft in a precarious situation. Additionally, engineers found five helium leaks, one of which had been detected before the flight. These problems seriously impacted the spacecraft's propulsion system. NASA delayed the initial docking attempt and kept Starliner outside the ISS safety zone for troubleshooting. Eventually, the spacecraft was able to dock, but not without significant challenges. The ongoing failures, helium leaks, and thruster issues. In addition to the thruster malfunctions, engineers discovered five helium leaks in the Starliner spacecraft, including one that had been identified before the flight. 
Helium is crucial for pressurizing fuel lines in the propulsion system, making these leaks a serious threat to the spacecraft's ability to maneuver. As a result, NASA had to postpone the initial docking attempt to address these issues. The Starliner was kept outside the ISS's keep-out sphere, an invisible safety boundary, while engineers worked to assess and fix the thrusters. After some tense moments, four of the malfunctioning thrusters were restored to working condition after Williams and Wilmore collaborated with flight controllers to test and fire them. Additionally, the helium leaks were stabilized, allowing the spacecraft to proceed with docking. Despite the technical challenges, Starliner successfully docked with the ISS, but the astronaut's journey was far more difficult than initially planned due to these ongoing malfunctions. Life-threatening moments in extreme cold. During an exclusive interview, both Williams and Wilmore shared that the most dangerous moment occurred when the Starliner spacecraft was left with no margin for error. If one more thruster failed, they would lose control and would have to abort the docking attempt. Adding to the tension, the cold inside the spacecraft became unbearable during the night. With only two astronauts on board, compared to the usual four, the cabin temperature dropped to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius. Both astronauts, feeling chilled, were forced to wear their bulky spacesuits to keep warm. Williams recalled wearing a small long sleeve t-shirt and still feeling cold, while Wilmore also donned his spacesuit to try and stay warm. They had no sleeping bags, so they had to improvise, sleeping while strapped to the spacecraft's bulkhead. Despite the freezing conditions and the threat of more technical failures, they continued toward the ISS, relying on their experience and teamwork to navigate the challenging situation. Unprecedented decision, returning Starliner without crew. After successfully docking with the ISS, NASA determined that sending the astronauts back aboard the Starliner was too risky due to ongoing technical issues. In a rare and unprecedented decision, NASA chose to return the spacecraft to Earth without the crew. This was done to thoroughly inspect the spacecraft and ensure its safety for future missions. On September 7, 2024, Starliner, with no astronauts on board, safely landed at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This marked the first time in history that a manned spacecraft returned to Earth without its crew. Although the decision was difficult, it was necessary to ensure the safety of the astronauts. The decision highlighted the severity of the problems with the Starliner and showed NASA's commitment to safety, even if it meant taking unconventional steps. This action demonstrated NASA's cautious approach, as the astronauts' safe return was prioritized over returning them aboard the troubled spacecraft. The safe solution? Bringing Williams and Wilmore back with SpaceX. With Starliner grounded and too risky to return the astronauts, NASA turned to SpaceX, the only other active partner in NASA's crew program. Crew-9's mission was quickly adjusted to accommodate Williams and Wilmore, making space for the stranded astronauts. Instead of the usual four astronauts, Crew-9 carried only two, ensuring seats for the returning astronauts. After months of waiting, Crew-10 launched and brought new astronauts to the ISS. The following day, on March 18, 2025, Williams and Wilmore boarded a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft to begin their journey back to Earth. The spacecraft successfully undocked from the ISS, marking the end of the astronauts' nearly nine-month stay in space. The return journey went smoothly, with Crew Dragon landing safely off the coast of Florida. This solution demonstrated SpaceX's readiness to step in and ensure the safe return of the astronauts, allowing NASA to continue its crew rotations without further delays. Repeated mistakes. Boeing still unresolved. The issues with Starliner weren't new. Back in 2021, during an uncrewed flight test, 13 out of 24 oxidizer valves on the spacecraft got stuck due to nitric acid corrosion caused by moisture exposure. Although Boeing implemented fixes like heaters and desiccants, the problem persisted. Since the service module burns up during re-entry, engineers couldn't inspect it physically, relying on telemetry and simulations to analyze the issue. This left uncertainty about the root causes of past thruster failures. These unresolved problems carried over into the crewed mission of 2024, when Starliner encountered similar malfunctions with its thrusters, which had already been identified in previous tests. Despite Boeing's efforts, the failure to fully address these issues led to major challenges for NASA 
in astronauts Williams and Wilmore, who were left stranded for months. The recurring problems highlighted the flaws in the spacecraft's development and raised questions about Boeing's ability to meet safety standards. Responsibility and regret from astronauts. Butch Wilmore openly took responsibility for the issues during the Starliner mission, stating, I blame myself. I could have asked more questions, and perhaps the answers could have changed everything. Despite his self-blame, it's clear that the mission's failures affected both astronauts deeply. The long, grueling ordeal in space took a toll on their physical and mental health. After their return, both Williams and Wilmore appeared emaciated and exhausted. These are common effects of prolonged exposure to space's zero-gravity environment, including osteoporosis, muscle atrophy, physiological changes, and radiation exposure. Their recovery process was expected to be difficult and extensive. NASA has a specialized program to help astronauts recover, involving physical therapy, medical monitoring, and adjusted diets. However, regaining muscle strength and overall health after such an extended mission is a slow and challenging process. The mental toll of their prolonged isolation and the constant challenges in space further compounded their strain. Pay for astronauts, $5 a day in space. Given the immense challenges they faced, many might wonder about the astronauts' compensation. Both Williams and Wilmore belong to the GS-15 pay grade in the U.S. federal system, which is the highest for general employees, with salaries ranging from $125,000 to $162,672 per year. For their nearly nine months aboard the ISS, their total earnings range from $94,998 to $123,152, including the base salary. However, there's an additional daily living allowance while on missions. This allowance is approximately $5 per day, totaling around $1,430 for their 286 days in space. While this pay may have been adjusted for inflation, it still seems minimal considering the risks and physical toll astronauts face. Their compensation does not include overtime, hazard pay, or bonuses for extended missions. This situation has led to frustration, with former President Donald Trump even suggesting he would personally pay more, feeling that the astronauts deserved much more for their sacrifice. Boeing's costly Starliner project and continued failures. The Starliner project has proven to be a financial and technical challenge for Boeing. NASA awarded Boeing a $4.2 billion contract in 2014 to develop and operate the spacecraft. However, by early 2025, Boeing's costs had ballooned by at least an additional $2 billion. The Starliner was initially planned to be operational by 2017, but multiple delays due to management and engineering issues have pushed back its timeline. The spacecraft underwent its first uncrewed orbital flight test in 2019, which was considered a partial failure, leading to a second test in 2021. By the time of the crewed test flight in June 2024, Starliner faced serious problems, including thruster malfunctions. NASA ultimately deemed it too risky to send astronauts back to Earth aboard the Starliner, forcing the agency to rely on SpaceX to safely return the astronauts. Despite these ongoing issues, Boeing still has a long road ahead to regain trust and ensure Starliner's future success.